Welcome to Percussion CM1 Software. In this video, we will be taking a look at working as a contributor in CM1. After logging into the program, we are directed to the dashboard first. The purpose of the dashboard is to give you an overview of the gadgets that have been implemented onto your site so that you can see what to work on next. The default settings have two gadgets on the dashboard. The welcome gadget and the page by status gadget. On the welcome gadget, you can visit our wiki under documentation, the CM1 forum, and our support portal, where you can submit tickets to our tech support. On the page by status gadget, you can see a list of pages on your site and their status in the workflow. In order to add a new gadget to the dashboard, click the Add Dashboard Gadget on the top left of your screen to expand the gadget tray. To add a gadget to the dashboard, simply click one of the gadgets and drag it under the tray. Most gadgets are configurable via a drop-down menu by clicking the arrow on the top right of the gadget. For example, we can edit settings. We can, we can also minimize the gadget. And we can also delete the gadget from the dashboard. You can also move the gadget around on the dashboard by clicking it and dragging it around and dropping it then. Going across the top of the screen, you can see your role on the software, which is by default a contributor. You can also log out of the program, and you can click the question mark to seek help through our wiki, or you can see, click the About section to see what version of the software you're currently running on. The next thing we'll look at is the finder. By clicking the plus sign on the top of the left screen to expand it. There is a tab to toggle between the site and assets. This area is essentially where we can see the pages that are on our sites on CM1. We can also see the assets that are up on the site. Let's take a look at the assets first. An asset in CM1 is any piece of shared or reusable content. It can be in the format of images, PDFs, Word files, Flash files, pieces of HTML, and um, pieces of rich text. The advantage of using the assets library in CM1 is that you can store this content in one place and use it across multiple pages and sites. We see that the site is structured with folders. You can organize your folders however you like with any naming convention. To create a folder, you have to click this icon on the top right of the screen. Let's go ahead and create a sample one and call it test. To navigate through your asset library, you can move through these folders with single clicks. By clicking on this once opens up two subfolders. You can repeat this until you reach the content itself. Once you come to a particular asset, you can single click it to view a dialog that displays information about it, such as name, type of asset, 
where it currently is in the workflow, and who last modified it. We can also preview an asset by clicking the blue link text which will open a preview in a separate browser. Or alternatively, we can also click on this icon to launch a preview. In this case of an image asset, we also have a metadata dialog which gives us additional data about the file such as file name and file type. In this case, it's a JPEG image. This is the end of our tutorial. Thank you for watching.